Hey, my scrappy friends. So I have a layout for you today. And this one I finished last weekend. So I am going to be using the Teresa Collins Life Emporium collection pretty much for the whole thing. There's just a few extra things that I add to this. So that's what I pulled out. And I am in a little while going to be pulling out some cardstock too in a second. I think I'm just getting situated. <laughs> Apparently I missed. I try not to let too long of moments where I'm looking for stuff. So I use these two pictures and these are of my daughter and my daughter and me when she was born. My middle daughter. My middle daughter. I have two daughters. <laughs> my middle child. So my second daughter, Kaden. And she was born in 2010, so these are old pictures. But um, I still am obviously trying to catch up on all the moments that I have not scrapbooked since I just started scrapbooking. So, and it's, you know, it's really fun for me to go back and scrap moments that I haven't maybe necessarily look you know pictures from a long time so it's kind of fun to go through and look through my pictures and get older pictures so I have these one these two and one is just me and my daughter when I think pretty much they first gave me to her so she's like super red and then the other one was either from a little bit later that day or evening so here I'm looking through cardstock and I mostly have most of my cardstock just in that one and I have like one of one or two of my old scrap tastic kits in there too since there's a little bit of extra space and those are in um just like a, a it's a little bit bigger than 12 by 12 but it's not much <clears throat> and so it's just a cheapo like walmart roll cart in like storage car and I really like it because each drawer can hold and I can pull them out fairly easy so when I'm looking through my paper so I don't keep all my papers in there but I have a lot of packs and stuff you see me fiddling with my phone I actually decided to listen to music that day I was listening to mostly music the whole time I was scrapping which I found to be a lot more productive <laughs> And when I watch scrapbook videos. <laughs> so I really, really enjoy watching scrapbook process videos, but sometimes I miss out on certain things when I just watch them. And I find that sometimes it takes me a little bit longer. So that day I was just listening to music, just random music. And every time the song changes, I think it lights up my phone screen. Ugh, pain in the butt. Next time I think I might just try to do it on my, on the computer, the volume, and then it'll save on my camera or on my phone battery too. So I really like that diagonal type of stripe from the Teresa Collins line. And uh, I really, really like this paper. It's super thick and it has, it just feels so nice. It's like one of those papers that you just like, I don't know, you just want to hoard almost. It's just, it feels so nice. I guess if I could like find, you know, pick like my favorite feeling paper, I would say this. It is pretty close to the Cartabella, but I don't know. It just feels like old paper or something. I don't know if that's what she was trying to get, but so. You know, I mean, I could just sit and touch it all day. It's so pretty. So I, I pick that green and it's kind of like a minty green. And I don't know. Now that I see it on there, I wish I had picked a pink. But I was trying to go with something complementary to the pink in that frame around the picture of just my daughter, which my grandmother, <laughs> and I don't know if, I haven't done the journaling on this and usually I do the journaling right away, but for whatever reason I haven't, but I think I want to put this somewhere on the layout, whether it's on the layout or on the back, um, that 
picture of just my daughter, my grandmother took, I think she took those. So I think that was the next day. And then she had just got a new printer, a new printer. So, you know, in 2010, I think around ish there was when a lot more people were buying like camera printers. So it was just like, I'm not sure what brand it is, like if it was an Epson or something, but it was just one of those smaller ones. And you know, on there, if you flip through, it'll, you so you can, you know, pick the picture and then it'll show, like you can pick borders for the outside or frames and mats and stuff right on the, like the little computer, you know, it's like a little mini computer. It's kind of, they remind me of the old, the new selfies, but just better. I mean, I don't have a selfie, but I have one too, but I can't find the adapter to it. So I can't even use it, which stinks. It's kind of nice because they're smaller, so they're a little bit more portable. So you could really just stick it right at your desk station and then you don't have to, like I have my printer downstairs, so I have to, print from upstairs or print from my iPad and then run downstairs, make sure it's printing because sometimes it doesn't want to connect via Wi-Fi or whatever it uses to connect, but you know. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to map that in because a part of that picture, I didn't want to like hack it all up well because there's also flowers on the frame. It'd be kind of hard to cut the flowers all off. I think you'd, you'd lose part of the picture. And I didn't really want to do that. And I don't mind necessarily that it has the mat on it. It doesn't really go with a lot of everything. So I tried to pick stuff that kind of went with that. So I was thinking, hey, green would complement the pink. But I really had no idea what I was doing. So first you would see me do like more of a grid style and then here I'm just kind of playing around with like a grid sort of with layers and I go with this but watching this back I kind of wish I had went with the other way just to see which how it would have went but I was afraid that I was going to have too much open space with the other one so I didn't know how I was going to do space you know and I didn't want it too busy because I really want it to be about the pictures I mean they're well, they're, you know, my daughter doesn't look amazing because she just was born, you know, and any baby who was just born, those first few pictures, they always look so red or like the other picture, she looks so white because of the flash. <laughs> but, you know, they're precious pictures, which made me think about the title, Precious, and, you know, just to have those photos of your kids when they're first born, and they're so little, and, and they don't stay that little forever, and so it was nice to do this, and so that's kind of, you know, I wanted, I didn't want it to take away, but I do kind of think it's a little busy, but, you know, it's not horrible, so it'll go and, you know, I'm not gonna take it apart or anything. I'm not one to do that anyway. I mean, and but I have no problem going back and using a, the same photo and doing it a different way. So maybe one day I'll go back and use one of the photos, you know, and do it that way, but, um, because I think I have more photos from around that time. So here I'm deciding which side I want to use. One is like a damask type of like wallpaper look. And then this other side is a wood grain that is, has flowers painted on it. And I decide that I like that darker color with the white. And it kind of goes with the flowers on the, the photo matte thing that it was printed on. So here I'm trying to decide. I want something. I don't like how there's that overhang so I'm like trying to figure out what I want to do <laughs> but I don't really like that underneath it it's just a little too busy so I do decide to just take like maybe an inch or so and just I put it down at the bottom just to kind of off balance just to balance it 
because there's a lot of open space over there. And there still is a lot of open space, and so I will end up adding, here I'm outlining that. I thought a great outline would look really nice in that. And so I just finished up a couple of other of the pieces with the outline. I don't do everything, so just a few, just to kind of give a little bit of a different look to it. So, and at this point, I don't want to add any more paper because here in my, my thought process is I don't want to overdo this. I really want to keep it simple. I don't want to take away from the photo. So here is where I'm working on the title and I do decide to go with these um, thickers. I believe they're the daiquiri thickers and they're a thick or a, like a big glitter thicker so the glitter does kind of come off a little bit that's the only thing I don't like about that so but they're really really pretty I'm like halfway done with the pack so they are pretty I like that gold <laughs> and who doesn't like glitter I mean and if I didn't have to put the glitter, on, I didn't have to put the glitter on myself, so that's even better. So here I'm looking through an embellishment pack from, it's American Craft, and I think it's Lemon Lush. So it's got super bright colors, and I really like the number two because Caden is my number two child. So I really want to use some of that in some way, but I didn't want to quite commit to that. So here I'm going to use, um, this is from the sticker pack from the Teresa, this collection. So I stick with that and I put a pop dot and then here's another sticker that says love this and it has more arrows on it. And so I really like that because it's bringing your eye into the picture. So. Here I'm just trying to think about there's tons of like words and phrases on there and that one says enjoy life and then there's one that has butterflies on it so I use that one up at the top uh, I think at some point soon I'm gonna put the enjoy life I didn't put that one yet so here I use this little tabby it's like a wood tab and I really like the wood grain coming down to the bottom so that was my thought with that and then up there is a heart that says like with an arrow pointing to the picture. So I kind of have the two sets of arrows pointing to the picture just kind of to draw you into that middle picture even though I want people to see the one with my daughter's name in it too. But I mean there's a lot going on in that picture so I feel like you see that first anyway. And because there's so much open space I don't mind layering the way I have my photos layered like that. I kind of wasn't sure how I wanted to do, do it since they're not the same size and there was no way I could cut them the same size. So I think that for me, that's the hardest part is using multiple photos, <laughs> um, especially when they're different sizes. So, you know, when you have like four photos, but they're all like three by three or four by four, it's a lot easier to make something work than when you have, you know, about a four by six and like a four by four. So I think that was part of the challenging. So here I'm looking through some wood veneer that <clears throat> I collected and they were all from previous Scraptastic kits. So I have these, those flowers, which is not the whole, the, in the kit, it actually has like five, like five butterflies, I think. So, and I'm just using my Prima ink edger. It's like ink, like chalk ink. So my pad was defective and it kind of fell off the first time I went to use it. So I'm like holding it on to try to use it. <laughs> I've only used it a little bit because it keeps falling off. And I don't want to throw it away because it still has a lot of ink on it. So, and that one was like a, that was a green color, like a mint green. So I thought it went pretty well. And then the other flower I did with a pink. 
with the rose, I think it, like something rose. So, and then the other one, the bigger flower, I just left plain wood. So I kind of like the different, so, and those are to just, you know, I thought I really needed that bottom cluster just to kind of give something else. I'm not really sure how balanced it is, but it kind of fills that space up, but it's not too awkward, so. So here I'm just looking for some enamel dots, and I think I just finish off with just a few pink and green ones, and then that's it. And later I'm gonna do my journaling, which is really bad, because I like to do it right away, but, you know. I think I just not really quite sure what I want to say and you know sometimes I think it's okay for us not to do the journaling right, right away to kind of take our time and think about and make the journaling mean something so and I have tons of space to journal I could journal on the you know on just the plain green cardstock which would help fill up that space or I could do it on the pattern paper on the white so I have myself some options of how I could do it but I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and um, I will see you next time. Bye.